Hello all, Vern here once again with Real Therapy Charter Fishing. Today we're going to be talking about another fishing knot. The knot today that we're going to demonstrate is one called a Willis knot. Now a Willis knot is used to join a leader to lead core line. So we have here a couple of different lines. We have uh, the suffix standard lead core. We got a Seeger fluorocarbon and a trilene monofilament. We're going to join today the monofilament to the lead core and I'm choosing the monofilament really because it's just a little bit easier to see. We have just a standard line cutter and some super glue and we're going to use just a dab of super glue at the end of the knot and I'll, I'll show you how that is once we complete the knot. So first as the name implies lead core is in fact a Dacron sheath with a lead core. So if I slide this Dacron sheath back, you see that lead core protrude out of it. So since we are tying a Willis knot, I'm actually going to do a slight variation from that and do a double Willis knot. We're going to start with two overhand knots in the line. So there's one overhand knot, and then we'll make second overhand knot so there we have two overhand knots and a bit of line protruding out the end of those knots so now what we're going to do is push that sheath back so that I can grasp the core and then slide the sheath all the way back to my two knots, leaving about six or so inches of core exposed. We're going to clip that core off. So you see just a little bit of core exposed. I'm going to allow the sheath to protrude just a little bit beyond that core. So you can see the sheath there just outside of the core. And then our goal is to take the monofilament and insert it inside of that sheath where previously the lead core was. So there's the end of my monofilament. We're going to put it into that sheath. Now this will often work if you just twist the sheath a little bit as you insert it. And we're going to push the monofilament all the way into the sheath until it is in contact with the other lead core. And I felt it hit the lead core right there. So if we look, see the point that it bends right there is where the lead core ends and my now monofilament core begins. So I'm going to grasp the sheath here where the monofilament is entering it just to prevent it from sliding. And we're going to work that first overhand knot all the way down the line until it is at the end of the sheath where the monofilament begins. So first, if I make just an overhand loop, oops, if we make an overhand loop in there, like so, see the end of the monofilament and my loop, and I can just pull this line through it. And as I do that, you see the place where it bends, that's where the monofilament ends and the lead core begins. Work this overhand knot all the way down close to the end of that sheath. So if I look at it, there's the end of the sheath. We're just going to pull that snug. And that there is what's called a single Willis knot. Since we're tying a double Willis knot, we're going to move the second overhand knot to the other end of the sheath where the monofilament is placed inside of it. So we are just going to work this overhand knot down the line, similar to the, how we did the other one. I'm 
We can see right there that point where the monofilament ends, and we have now our second knot. We're going to try to position that close to the end of the, where the monofilament is. Pull that snug so you can see there it is an inch or so from the end of the monofilament sheath. So we'll pull both of those knots tight. And now when we look at it, we have two overhand knots in that Dacron sheath that has the monofilament located in it. And we see the monofilament transition to the lead core there. Now that, even with a lot of tension, will not slip in and of itself. So you might be asking, why do we need the super glue? Well, the super glue is going to be placed right on the end of that Dacron sheath, which will just prevent the sheath from fraying as we use it to troll. Then we can adjust this leader length to whatever our desired length is, and we're ready to get out and hit the water. So hope this was beneficial. If you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, whereas I'm going to post some additional instructional videos uh, with some fishing knots and other things that will improve your time on the water throughout the day. So I hope you have a great day and you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.